Hello everyone, and today we're back into another top five. And today we're talking about the top five scariest Lumians in all of Lumian Legacy. If it's based on their design or how good they are at PvP, these Lumians are some of the scariest Lumians in the entire game. Some are from this Halloween event and some that are, are not. So let's head right into this top five right about now. So number five on this list of top scariest Lumians is going to be Vesperatu. I mean, it makes sense. It's kind of like a vampire bat. It looks really scary and it hits very hard. But in PvP, this thing is scary now because one thing, it can hit to clips now. So all of those teams that run to clips, they now have to worry about the potential slash coming their way. Look at this. I two shot to clips with icicle traps. Yes. Vesperatu can now 1v1 up to Eclipse. That makes Vesperatu scary. It doesn't mean that it is unstoppable, though. Melee tanks can beat it, stuff that outspeeds it can beat it, and a couple other stuff as well. But by Vesperatu design, and now the fact that Vesperatu can actually hit to Eclipse, makes Vesperatu onto this list alone. Now that it can actually hit to Eclipse, and now it isn't just a free swapping every time, this makes Vesperatu one of the scariest Lumians in the entire game once again. And it's not even close. I mean, it makes sense. It can now hit a Lumian that it can truly not hit whatsoever. And that's why Vesperatu is on this list. This could be a little bit biased because I absolutely hate to Eclipse and Vesperatu hitting to Eclipse is awesome. But you guys gotta admit, Vesperatu is very overpowered and that's why it is in this top five. Number four to this list is going to be one of the new Lumians. It's actually going to be the Harvlantic. I cannot say this Lumian's name, so I'm just going to call it Werewolf. I'm just going to call it a wolf. This hits hard. This hits very hard. 130 attack. A solid bulk because of its really high HP stat. Awesome coverage. It has some of the best coverage out of any Lumian in the entire game. And has some really good abilities to boot. Its secret ability currently really isn't that good. But the other two abilities are really good. Especially aggressive. Because you can really do some work. And with Gnarly Nash, you can lower the opposing Lumian's melee defense. And you could start to snowball damage. Atlantic is actually one of the best new Lumians in the entire game, and it's really scary. You can run this with Boots, you can run this with a Bulk Up Sweeper, you can run a bulky one with the SA. This thing can pretty much hit anything in the entire game except for Earth types, and even then, if you predict the Earth's type coming in, you could still do some massive amounts of damage to it. The reason why it is number four is because it doesn't really do anything outside of PvP apart from its really sick looking design. It has a really scary and awesome design. I love it. It probably might be one of the best designs of the new event. So yeah, Atlantic is pretty good. It's definitely one of the scariest Limians in the entire game. By its hard hitting, aggressive ability, and just really sick design alone. So yeah, number three onto this list is actually going to be pretty expected because it's Yarsol. I mean, its name is Your Soul. It steals people's souls. Besides that, it's a giant bear who is part of the maze. And when you go into the Nevermare maze, you can get absolutely jumped. I'm going to show you a clip of Your Soul jumping me. So, as you can see, I'm running in the maze, and the Nevermare pops out of nowhere, and I accidentally land on a bear trap, and Your Soul destroys me. Your soul is quite scary by design, in the maze, and in PvP. It's an uber. It might be one of the most powerful ubers in the entire game because it hits extremely hard. Has a very high melee attack, has double priority, has slapdown utility, has setup, has chase down, has pep jab. This thing pretty much has everything in terms of attack. And while it is very frail defensively, it hits so hard that it doesn't even matter in the long run. Your soul is definitely one of the scariest Lumians in the entire game. And it definitely deserves to be onto this list. Your soul is just extremely scary. It definitely is a top three Lumian for sure. And that's why it deserves number three onto this list. So yeah, your soul, one of the scariest Lumians in the entire game so yeah here's number two and number two onto this list is actually going to be nevermare and nevermare is really good i mean nevermare is one of the scariest limians in the entire game i mean it's in the maze 
It is part of the maze, which says a lot. And here's a clip of Nevermare hopping us out of nowhere. Look at this. I'm running into the maze. I see Nevermare, and I run away. Like, he's part of the Nevermare maze. It makes sense that it has to be on this list. It is not number one, though. There is one Lumion that deserves number one a little bit more. But despite that, Nevermare is one of the scariest Lumions in the entire game. By its design, by what it is in the maze, by what it is in the event, and also how it is in PvP. It's really, really good in PvP. It's one of the scariest Lumions in the game because it can set up, do a lot of damage, can crit a lot of Lumions, has great coverage. And defensive typing-wise, Nevermare is one of the best Lumions defensive typing-wise. I mean, this is one of the top Lumions in terms of its defensive typing. And... I mean, it's a plant type that is not weak to dark, and a spirit type that's not weak to light. It, heck, it's immune to light, which is just amazing. It, defensively, it counteracts each other really well. The reason why Nevermare is not number one is just because the number one Lumion is scarier. It's nothing to do with Nevermare itself. The number one Lumion is just scarier than Nevermare. But despite that, Nevermare is still one of the scariest Lumions in the game. The scariest Lumion in all of Lumion Legacy is... Cephalops. There's no other choice. This is the definitive scariest Lumion in all of Lumion Legacy. It has Soul Drain. It souls. It drains your soul it, with the Bloodsucker ability. It's bulky, and if you can read its Lumipedia page, it actually feasts on its own mother. The mother lays eggs, and the child and the children feast on their mother. That is dark. That's why Cephalops is a dark type. It is one of the scariest Lumions just by that alone. Even if it wasn't good at PvP, this would still be number one. And that doesn't even count its PvP ability. It is one of the best PvP Lumions in the entire game. It can get health back with Soul Drain. It hits extremely hard. It has amazing coverage. It can barter heavy shackles. It can place icicle traps. It can hypnotize. It has water stab. It has dark stab. This has everything. And when run with Rachel Plushy, this thing is unbelievably unstoppable. Not even really ranged tanks really want to come in and soak the hit. I mean, Ventolin can get three shot by a Cephalops if you're not careful because of its Bloodsucker ability and Soul Drain. And the fact that Cephalops can get health back makes Cephalops one of the scariest Limians in the entire game by a long shot. And that's why Cephalops is number one onto this list. There is no other Lumion that deserves to be the scariest Lumion other than Cephalops. So yeah. So here it is, Cephalops, the scariest Lumion of all of Lumion Legacy. There is no other choice. If its children can eat its own deceased mother, it definitely deserves number one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me talking about the scariest Lumions in all of Lumion Legacy. And I'll see y'all all later. Bye-bye!